we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, whose will is to restore all things. In your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant we pray that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The proclamation of David as King of Israel foreshadows the enthronement of Jesus Christ, the descendant of David, as the eternal King of the universe. A reading from the second book of Samuel. In those days, all the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Here we are, your bone and your flesh. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led the Israelites out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, You shall shepherd my people Israel, and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord. And they anointed him king of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the I rejoiced because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord, and now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity, to eat the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. In his letter to the Colossians, St. Paul immortalized for all Christian generations the absolute preeminence of God's incarnate Son, the King of the universe. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, let us give thanks to the Father who has made you fit to share in the inheritance of the Holy Ones in light. He delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of His beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins, he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in Him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through Him and for Him. He is before all things. And in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him making peace by the blood of his cross through him whether those on earth or those in heaven the word of the lord thanks be to god please stand Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The rulers neared the Jesus and said, He saved others. Let him save himself. If he is the chosen one, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him. As they approached to offer him wine, they called out, If you are king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him, there was an inscription that read, This is the King of the Jews. Now, one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself for us and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we receive corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Mapagpalang umaga po sa ating lahat at maligayang pagdating dito po sa simbahan ng Manawag. Ngayong araw po, ating ipinagdiriwang ang dakilang kapistahan ng Kristong Hari, Christ the King. Pero ang ating pagbasa sa Ebanghelyo, parang taliwas sa isang hari. Bakit? Ang binasa natin ay nasaan? Si Jesus ay nakabayubay sa krus kasama ng dalawang kriminal na pinagtatawanan. At para saan ang pagpapapako? This is the worst penalty for lowly people. Sa mga kriminal, Parang ipinapakita ng ating Panginoon ay isang kriminal. 
Bakit nandun siya nakabayubay sa krus? Pero hayaan po natin, ikumpara muna ang paghahari ng ating Panginoong Yesus doon kay Haring David na sinabi doon na ating napakinggan sa unang pagbasa. Sa unang pagbasa, sinabi doon ng mga Israelita that they will anoint David as their king at sinabi nila, this is bone of our bones, flesh of our flesh. Naalala ba ninyo kung saan unang nabanggit yon Sa Genesis. Nung sinabi ng ating Panginoong Yahweh na magkakaroon ng kasama si Adan, sinabi ni Adan, at last, this one is bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. Na sinasabing kauri. Pero yun ay patungkol sa isang covenant, sa isang kasal. Parang sinasabi lang ng mga Israelita kay David na makikipagtipan kami sa iyo bilang 12 tribes. Makikipagkasundo kami sa iyo na ikaw ang magiging hari namin. E paano kay Jesus? Hindi ba't nakipagtipan din ang ating Panginoon? Hindi lang sa mga Hudyo. Kanino? Sa kanyang simbahan. Nakipagtipan din ang ating Panginoon, hindi lang sa mga Hudyo. Kaya nga tayo naririto. Hindi tayo Hudyo. But then Jesus made a covenant for us. Like Jesus is the bride and we, the church, is the bride. Jesus is the bridegroom and we, are His bride. Nakipagkasundo din ang ating Panginoon sa atin. Kaya't masasabi natin that that one is bone of our bones, flesh of our flesh. At nang dahil doon, dahil sa covenant na yun, sa pakikipagtipan na yun, ginawang Kristos, si Haring David, they anointed David to be their king. Pero ang ating Panginoon, paano na anoint? Doon, sa krus. At sinasabi dito may placard sa kanyang ulunan, Inri, Jesus the Nazarene, King of the Jews. Sa papamagitan nun, they mocked him as the King of the Jews. Sa ganoong paraan nila, inanoint o pinili ang ating Panginoon. Parang pinagtawanan ang layo-layo sa ginawa kay David that they anointed him with oil. But then, sa ating Panginoon, His blood Through His blood, they anointed Him. Napakalayo. At pagkatapos, si Haring David, they say, He saved His people from bondage. Sa mga mananakop, sa pamamagitan ng armas. Kaya nga, nung si Haring David ay nakikipaglaban kasama ni Haring Saul, nung hindi pa hari si David, Nainggit si Saul dahil sinasabi, kapag si Saul nakapatay ng isang daan, si, Haring da si David nakapatay ng sampung libo. Ganun kagiting na mandirigma si David. Pero sa ating Panginoong Yesus, paano niya sinagip ang tanan? Pa paano? Pagpapatawad sa pagpapatawad. Sa papamamagitan pa rin ng krus. Kinuha niyang lahat ng kasalanan at sa pamamagitan ng isang kamatayan, binigyan niya ng kamatayan ng kamatayan. 
isang kamatayan lamang ang nagbigay sa kamatayan sana ng tanan sa pamamagitan pa rin ng krus. At pagkatapos, saan nagahari si Haring David? Malawak ang kanyang kaharian. Meron siyang mga kawal, may mga lupain. May mga templo. Pero ang ating Panginoon, saan? Sabi pa niya, My kingdom is not of this world. Kaya sinabi nung isang magnanakaw, sinabi niya, Jesus, remember me when you are in paradise. Tapos sinabi ng ating Panginoon, ngayon din, isasama na kita sa aking paraiso. And that is the kingdom we all long for. The kingdom where God reigns. Pero ano pang itinuturo sa atin ito? Kung si Haring David ay nakipagtipan sa mga Israelita that the Israelites anointed him as king and he conquered the enemies in his many battles and he has an earthly kingdom. Hindi po yun ang lahat ng ating hinahangan. Dahil lahat ng yun ay mawawala. But how did Jesus reign? How did Jesus become a king? It is through forgiveness and love. Sinabi pa ng ating Panginoon, there is no greater love than this than to lay down your life for your friends. At sa kanyang pag-ibig, doon nagahari ang kanyang kaharian at sa kanyang pag-ibig walang sino man ang makakalayo walang sino man ang makakaalis sa kanyang pag-ibig magkakaroon ng kapatawaran Ika pa ni San Pablo sa kanyang sulat sa mga taga-Romano Romans 8 sabi What will separate us from the love of God? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? No. In all these things, we concur overwhelmingly through Him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor present things nor future things nor powers nor heights nor depth nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Omnia vincit amor. Love conquers everything. Kaya nga sa pakikidigma, kung ang gamit natin ay armas, sinong mananalo? Wala. Hanggang ngayon, merong digma ang nangyayari. Tingin ninyo may nanalo? Wala. Nauubos ng kanilang pera, nauubos ng kanilang yaman, nauubos ang buhay. Sinong nananalo? Wala. And the only antidote in war is love. Kaya kung gusto nating manalo sa ating mga digmaan sa sarili nating buhay, all of us have silent battles in life. We have our own silent battles in life. Ilan sa atin ang may mga sakit dito? Ilan sa atin ang mga namong problema? Financial? Sa relasyon? Ilan sa inyo niloloko? Ilan sa inyo mga iniwan? Ilan sa inyo naghahanap ng trabaho? Ilan sa atin ang nalulumbay? 
Those are our own silent battles in life. And we can only conquer them when we have the love of Christ in us. Kaya nga sana, sa pamamagitan natin, we can spread the love and mercy and forgiveness that Jesus showed on the cross. Kaya nga sinasabi, Come, follow me, pick up your cross. Dahil sa pamamagitan ng krus, matututo tayo kung paano magmahal. At sa pagmamahal, matututo tayo kung paano pagharian yung mga problema natin sa buhay. And it is all because that Jesus loved us first. Na narabdaman natin ang kanyang pagmamahal at awa at pag-ibig. We don't long for earthly powers, but we long for the love of Christ to reign in our hearts. Magmahal ka, pick up your cross, and let the love of Christ reign within you. Please all stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated to Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gathered together as God's family in this solemnity of Christ the King of the universe, let us present our petitions to our Heavenly Father for the needs of all mankind in our own. Let our response be, Heavenly Father, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear out our prayer. For the Church, the body of Christ, may she be evermore the generous instrument of Christ's kingly service to all human beings by promoting peace, cooperation, and justice. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father, our bishops, and the clergy, may they remain faithful to their commitment to use their God-given authority to serve the poor and the weak with the humility and sincerity of Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer. For all those who are working to make the kingship of Christ a living reality, May their commitment to bring the love of Jesus to all cultures and homes be crowned with success. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer. For all those who live in ways that are opposed to the teachings of Christ, may they, like the good thief, realize their mistake and give their full allegiance to the King of Heaven. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer. For all of us, May our faith in Christ the King propel us to act with urgency in building His kingdom of peace, love, and justice here on earth. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray.
Heavenly Father, hear our prayer. God our Father, you gave us Jesus as our King of mercy and love. Make us worthy subjects of his so glorious a King and heralds of his love to all. We ask this through the same Jesus, his Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son Himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you anointed your only begotten Son our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness as eternal priest and king of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given off for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do these in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. In the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. May this Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe, faith, and alive. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng communion, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostia at sumagot ng amin, at isubo na agad ang hostia. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad, at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostia upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received 
the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikiisa sa banal na misa at patuloy po natin ipagdasal ang isa't isa. Mag-ingat po kayo sa man kayo papunta. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Christ, the King of the universe, protect you from all dangers and make you always aware of His saving love. Amen. May He strengthen your faith so that you may be brave heralds of His kingdom. Amen. May He direct your steps to Himself and show you how to walk in charity and peace. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of Jerusalem of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, oils, and images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.